Hey, uh, Scott here from Pixel Sift, day two at PAX. I'm here with Brendan from Blue Volcano. We're going to be chatting about his new game, Roto Color Runners. Was that right? Yeah, that's that right. That's so many words, so many names. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, where did the inspiration for this game come from? Uh, the inspiration for this came from, I'm a big music fan, I love going to festivals, seeing bands and gigs, and I sort of wanted something I could come home to after one of those gigs and just sort of sit on the couch and get relaxed and just get lost in music and visuals working together. So there's no, there's no punishment within the game uh, because I feel that takes you out, so you can uh, just relax and enjoy the visuals and music working together. And so like, what is your elevator pitch, just so people understand what the game is about? Okay. So this game has three components. One is like a traditional uh, music game where you discover new artists by listening to their tracks and play along with those. And then they feed into a remix mode where you can grab an element from that song that you just heard, maybe the drum line, the guitar riff. Then you can put it with another, uh, another drum line from a different song. And you can mix and match and essentially create your own tracks in this remix mode. So it's for budding musicians like me who love music, can't actually make it. This is a very simplified process of being able to create some music. Music. Yeah, it kind of uh, it does stand out from your other kind of DJ heroes and stuff. It is in the fact that it incorporates uh, indie music and all sorts of things. Um, where did you kind of get that angle of the game from? Um, being a big fan of indie music, um, you know, there's a lot of bands that I like that I don't think most people have heard of. So it's me partly trying to spread the word of these bands that I think are really awesome that other people should hear uh, within the game, sort of giving back into that. Uh, community is that it's going to feature bios about each band and then you can link to their Facebook accounts and so forth so you can find more information about these bands and hopefully go and see them. Yeah, that's really great. I mean, it's, it, being an indie game, it kind of makes sense to incorporate the whole indie spectrum of uh, media and whatever. Yeah. Uh, so if people want to catch you this weekend at PAX, where can they do that? Okay, so I'm in the Indie Pavilion, Stand 31. Um, you look for the Road of Colour Runners sign, you might be able to see it behind. Um, if not, listening for the loud music, we're going to have the speakers up really loud. Uh, there's a VR game right next to us, which is another one of mine, so you'll probably see a really long line for that. And then uh, just, yeah, scoot over here and play Road of Colour Runners. Cheers for that. Right, no Can check them out.